Hey everybody and welcome to an outrageous wild ride with Steve-O. Outrageous is a tall term and that is precisely what this episode delivers. We've got the wildest guy there is maybe. I mean, he is a new Jackass cast member for a reason because he is outrageous. We are going to get into the craziest stuff like how he got his name poopies and the devastating shark attack he suffered on jackass shark week man are we gonna tell you how heartbreaking that whole situation remains god it's tough and we're gonna get into his financials his i mean dude this is the wildest character and again his name is Poopies. So I could not be more thrilled to tell you that this episode is sponsored by my favorite sponsor of the Wild Ride podcast, Tushy. Yeah, dude. Tushy is the secret to the most enjoyable pooping possible. They've got this new product called Tushy Ace, which is a whole toilet seat that warms up it warms the water that you blast your butthole with because of course it's a bidet you just get done pooping and the seats warm you push the remote control and then you blast your butthole so clean that one little square of toilet paper just to dry it off and see that there's no poop on the paper. I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Go to hellotushy.com slash stevo for 10% off your order. And if you don't have Tushy already, then listen to me. Go to hellotushy.com slash stevo for 10% off your order. I'm telling you, it's my favorite sponsor of the Wild Ride podcast. And let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, Poopies. What's up? So, your real name? Sean Patrick McInerney. McInerney? Yeah, uh, Irish, Irish boy. Gun to my head, I wouldn't have been able to say that. Yeah, they used to call me McInerney, um, McTurdies. Yeah. Yeah, I was before Poopies. Oh, right. Turdy yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> Preston said the funniest joke. He said, uh, Poopy's father when he was a young boy said don't get smart with me and poopies took it literally <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm so, so smart I mean dear, are you actually uh, you're actually pretty dumb huh <laughs> well you see, it's not like my it's not my fault right it just I got the cards you know the cards got dealt to me and I got a play them so and, and i say that with like such love thank and, you and affection i i really think that, <laughs> that, like, do that i do i really mean it like there's poopies is just so lovably dumb yeah man it's weird it's weird it's just me i mean that's just me i mean yeah you're just and you're lovable you got a heart of gold thank you thank you i mean like my mom raised me and she always you know said treat others like you want to be treated and everyone's equal and so that's how I go about life and right. treat people how you want to be treated. And we all want to be treated good. And so, I mean, that's that's <laughs> where, I, where I get my my love from. Is. Yeah. Um, I, I met your mom the other night, and she was just as lovely as could be. I mean, I really, really was stoked to meet her. Yeah, she's the best, dude. Like, she prays for me every day. She's always texting me, love you, hope you're having a great day, like every day. Right. Yeah, she's the best. She she She's She's there for me when I'm like, you know, in the lowest of lows and yeah, she's my mama. Well, what's the lowest of lows? Give us an example of a low. A low of a low is like you go out, say you get a ch paycheck on Friday, you go cash it, you meet up with the boys, <laughs> send it all weekend long, like freaking drinking drugs. And then Sunday comes around and you're broke. It's like then Saturday morning comes around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I admit, by, Friday afternoon yeah, comes there's around. There's definitely like times where I was like spent my money in one night for sure. But yeah, the lowest of lows is when you just okay. like you have nothing, dude. You like you, your serotonin's gone, your money's gone, <laughs> your 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 friends are nowhere to be found. You know, it's like fucking like send no, it. It's like, like the low it. of lows. Yeah, it's like right. and then you you just really like you realize um, that you're like, dude, I'm, I don't have shit right now. I'm like. Before Jackass, what were your paychecks for? Um, before Jackass, I was working for um, Red Bull TV. 
I was doing a web series for them. We Wait, did with the Jamie O'Brien. Yeah, the Job Show. Who's Job? Yeah, the Job Show. Yeah. So and so your checks came from Red Bull for that. They came from a production company. I mean, dude, given like how little like basic cable networks like MTV, Comedy Central, this and that, like how notoriously little MTV pays, I got to believe that Red Bull TV wasn't paying you shit. Nothing, dude. Especially when it wasn't even your show. You were like a, a sidekick guy. Yeah, I was like the sidekick guy who did all the crazy shit for free. So did you <laughs> get uh, paid per stunt or per episode? or? or no, how? it was like per month. Yeah. Oh, per month. Yeah, I was getting 500 bucks a month when it first started. All right. So and when you dude, mean like send it with the boys, that's like one round of drinks and you're fucking at rock yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. 500 bucks. <laughs> and would taxes come out of that? Um, yeah, tax would come out. So it would be like what? A check for like 350 bucks or something? Yeah, like nothing really. And then in Hawaii, the living's really expensive. So luckily, Jamie would put me up in his house, but I'd pretty much be scra scraping by like. Right. Lunch lunch would consist of a poke bowl, eight dollar poke bowl, and a dollar ninety nine cent iced tea. That was my lunch. And then, luckily, the Hawaiians loved the barbecue, so I would always be sniffing out the barbecues, you know. <laughs> so that always helped, you mm. know. But find yourself right. a little backyard. Bash yeah, yeah, they're always barbecuing. But yeah, I was scraping by in Hawaii, and then finally, the the checks got more and more every every year. So at the, the end, checks from Red Bull got more and more for the production company. Yeah. Because I was just like they, they knew they were kind of maybe taking advantage They knew that you were the golden goose They knew I was the golden goose Who would just do it for fun and love to do it You know so they, they didn't really say anything They goes, oh sh you know let's just keep them going You know just, right right Because I love to travel the, the world And that's what we were doing We are traveling the world and surfing the best waves in the world With all my best friends you know So that was fucking awesome to me You ever have a real job? Dude I've worked so many fucking jobs, it's gnarly. Okay. So I dropped out of high school when I was a sophomore. Was over school. I, I, my dad would drop me off. And that was before you're a sophomore, you're 15 years old. Uh huh. 15 years old. And then it was old. when you were 16 years old that you got the nickname Poopies. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many people know this who are listening. So it, so Poopies came before I dropped out. Oh, uh, so. So Poopies came like freshman year. Okay, oh, so you were 14 when you got the name Poopies. Yeah, Poopies came freshman year, and then... Well, let's tell people how you got the nickname Poopies. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a great story. And we're not going to water it down. No, we won't. So, yeah. So fucking Jackass was thriving. We were thriving on it. It was the MTV series every Friday night at 10 p.m. 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago, dude. How old are you now? 35. Okay, so we're talking 21 years ago. Yeah, so I was four, yeah, 14, 15, and dude, we loved it. We were fucking... We we're inspired inspired so inspired and we are all surfers and we like to do dumb shit and, and at this point you're living in carlsbad california yeah at this point i'm living in carlsbad california san diego county yep san diego county north county i had a house on acacia street on garfield and acacia and i lived next to the beach and fuck i would just like pretty much at that time, after I dropped out, I got a construction job because I was at the surf well, shop. You said this was before you dropped out. This was right after I dropped out. So oh, I was okay, like, fuck so. school. My name's Poopies. No one likes me. Well, no, 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 no. We're talking about before you. Don't tell the me. origin we'll of the name Poopies. That. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's, sorry. Trying, he's trying to sidestep this one. Yeah, but there's there's, a, lot, there's a lot to it. Okay, let's there's get There's a lot to it. You're Good in catch, an intersection Steve. and you wanted to impress your dumb buddies. <laughs> yeah, you were inspired yeah. by Jackass. So yep. You pulled down your pants and took a dump in an intersection in the middle of the road. Yeah, so the next day, we all woke up i think we stayed i stayed a night in my friend's house that morning we woke up there's no waves we're fucking bored and my friend's like dude let's do something stupid and i was like i gotta take a shit right now he's like dude poop. my name was sean sean go take a shit in the middle of the intersection and we'll fucking watch you and hopefully did they video it dude we have the video but i can't find it Someone was videoing. <laughs> Someone okay. was videoing. Someone okay. was videoing. But I think they got too scared when the cops showed up because the neighbors called the cops. Um, they called my how dad. Long did, how long were you shitting for? Dude, not that long at all. So you were done I think shitting it was like that. It was the hype up. I was so nervous to get into the street. So we're all hanging out on the corner of the sidewalk, you know? And I, I found a gorilla mask and gorilla gloves. Ah, you took a shit as a gorilla. Yeah. So I went to my friend's closet and I was like, fuck, what can I find to hide my face, you know? So I found a gorilla mask, gorilla gloves, and we're all walking out to the street. Right. It's like, it's pretty much like 20 feet from my friend's house. So we're all in the corner. I'm like, fuck, should I do this or not? Should I do this or yeah. not? Did, so did like, you get a big log? 
Dude, you know what's funny is I was pooping and I had to pinch it off because I seen the cops coming. Ah. Wow, they came that quick. They came because the neighbors well, were on it. Well, he had to go get the fucking mask and check it. Okay. So, like, so I see the cops coming and I pinch it off and I pull up my pants and then all my friends, they just, they just bail. They're yeah, out. because they they're went, not your friends. They, they... They're, yeah. They are, I don't know. They're, they're not. all on meth now. <laughs> no, no. They all, <laughs> they all have families and they're doing well. But Okay. But yeah, so the so cops pull up. Cops pull up. I'm like tripping out. I try to ditch my gorilla mask and gloves and act like nothing's going on. I'm like, excuse me, sir. Get over here, please. Did they put handcuffs on you? Yeah, they handcuffed me. And then the neighbor came out and told them what was happening. And they go, well, we're going to call your dad because you're too young to you know right to freaking put you in jail so they call my dad and my dad comes down he's all pissed off he goes what the fuck's going on I'm like, poo. yeah papa poo dude he came in hot what the fuck's going on well your son was over here taking a shit in the street and um yeah the neighbors called the cops and uh, now we have him here and he goes and he takes me by my he grabs me by my shirt he's like he tells the cops he's like oh i'll deal with him when we get home i was like he's like dragging me dude and then fucking we get in the truck his truck and he goes Whoa, we got a cliffhanger. And before we find out what Papa Pooh said in that vehicle, let me tell you what's going to happen in the vehicle we recorded this podcast in. That's right. The RV slash tour bus is getting a modification in the form of a new mattress in my main bedroom because I do not ever want to sleep on any mattress except the one from helixsleep.com. That's right, man. I, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. I need my helixsleep.com mattress, and I'm telling you, so do you. And if you want to get up to $200 off of any Helix mattress, then go to helixsleep.com slash stevo. Take a quick two-minute quiz to get dialed in with precisely the best mattress for you and enjoy a happier, healthier night's sleep on a nightly basis, feeling good and feeling good about what you paid. Because again, helixsleep.com slash stevo for up to $200 off of any mattress and they throw in two free pillows. Telling you, do it for yourself. You're going to thank me. And let's get back to Papa Poo. Poopies? That was the funniest. It was at Sean at the time. He goes, Sean, that was the funniest shit I've ever fucking heard of. And he, I was like, I'm not in trouble. He goes, No, you're not in trouble. I was like, Fuck yeah. But so then, that's when Dad started supporting my fucking dumb shit. And I was like, Fuck yeah. When uh, did you find out that you were actually in legal trouble for that? Um, when um, they gave me a ticket. Right. When when do you make the conscious decision? Like you wake up and you're like. I'm not going to school anymore for the rest of my life. You were 15? Yeah, I was 15 a sophomore year, half a sophomore year. Because my name became Poopies and I hated school because I'd show up to school. What's up, Poopies? Like, they just rub it in. So it was before. We've had, the, you got the name Poopies before you dropped out and then we dude, got it. It was 21, after. 21, 21 years ago, before. dude. A lot happened. No, right. but he's before saying after that. he got the name, he keeps going to school and they're calling you Poopies. Yeah, so Did you I, not I like shit the, the name street, at first? So I shit in the street, went back to school, was the kid who shit in the street. And it that's was, why they called you poopies. poopies. Yes. And every chick did not want to even talk to me. I never went to one prom, one um, homecoming, not even one of those. So you didn't like the name at first, Poopies. I hated the name, dude. And my friends were dicks at the time. And they, you know, when you don't like your name, when you don't like oh, something, well, yeah, it for sticks. Sure. You know, you're, for sure. it sticks. When you're like, fuck you guys, stop yeah. calling me that. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have even said that. Cause yeah. then it right. was just, you should have said you loved poopies, it right poopies. away. Yeah. And then they would have never called you that oh, again. My friends were such dicks, dude. I'd be skateboarding around doing like little surf turns, you know? And every turn I do, they go, Pfft. So, <laughs> I get so fucking pissed, dude. I'm just trying to skate around, you know, and then every time I go, they go, <laughs> and dude, it pissed me the fuck off. So I stopped going to school and I'd go to the surf shop. So my dad would drop me off at school and I'd have my beach cruiser and I'd wait for him to leave and I'd fucking turn my bike that straight down to the beach. So your dad didn't know you were dropping out? Didn't know. When did he find out? Like a month later. And then he was like, "Cause I, because I gave the school the wrong number to call. You know, can you call your parents? Bad boy. So I gave him the wrong number. Now you're not and that dumb like, after all. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, I'm getting away with this. You know, I'm like yeah. not going to school, going to the surf shop, surfing all day. And, and how old were you when you moved from Missouri to California? 
I was in eighth grade. So, so when was the first time you surfed? The first time I surfed, I used to visit in the summertime, see, used to visit my dad in the summertime. So the first time I surfed, I think I was in like fifth grade, sixth okay. grade. And then you just took to it, like. Yeah, because I met the surfer, the surfing local kids when I'd come visit in the summer. And then I moved, and they're like, fuck yeah, you moved here? I was like, yeah. So that's when I was just hanging out with the surf rats all day and became a surf rat. Yeah. And Why did you move to California? So I moved to California because my brother, um, I was I was really like, look, I looked up to my brother a lot, and he was like a really good wrestler. So he was like the best wrestler on the high school team in Missouri, and him and his friend were in the candy store, and they stole candy, and he got kicked off the wrestling team. So he was devastated, you know? And my dad's like, ah, oh, well, fuck, dude. You can come out to California and wrestle, you know? So, uh-huh. so that's when my dad drove a U-Haul to Missouri and picked me and my brother up and drove us back to California. And then he, my uncle registered me into... Um, <laughs> <laughs> my uncle um, registered. <laughs> you said registered. My uncle registered me into. Uh, we don't need to say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he signed you up. <laughs> yeah, he signed me up for for junior high. Because my dad had to work, so my uncle signed me up for junior high. Right. Okay. And um, yeah, that's what. Because I showed up, dude. Bugle boy shirt, short jean shorts, and girls Adidas. Like, they're like, who the fuck is this kid? And I, I wanted to fit in so bad, dude. I started fucking throwing pine cones at cars. Oh, straight wow. out of Missouri. Wow. Throwing pine cones at cars. Like, who the fuck is this Why, kid? Why'd you do that? <laughs> Attention. Yeah, dude. Attention. I get it. <laughs> Steve's like, I yeah. get it. So, you know, I was, I wanted, to be the cool, I wanted to be the po- one of the popular kids. And I guess that was my way of trying to get it. But So you became poopies. Like when you were like 15. Yeah, freshman year became well, poopies. Well, I think it's a sophomore. Yeah. You go back to school, you're like, you know, you're a sophomore. They call you poopies now. You don't like it. Don't like it at all. So you so, stop going to school. Yeah, stop going to school. I started hanging out at the surf shop. How, how quickly after that did you go to Hawaii? Oh, uh, not for a while. Oh, not for a so, while. So at, when, I, when I dropped out of high school, I, worked at, I kind of worked at the surf shop. You know, if you hang out at the surf shop and you're supposed to be at school, you better be sweeping the floors or fucking cleaning the shaping bay or doing something productive, you know, to help out the shop. So I ended up meeting this guy who was working construction who lived at the surf shop and he got me a construction job. Okay. So I was making fucking pretty good money and I wasn't even like 18. I think I just turned 18 and I, and I got my first job and on a construction site doing track homes in La Costa. All those Alga houses mm-hmm. in, in La Costa, I built all those, or I helped build. I was the yeah. laborer. Good. So, but fuck, dude, you guys are gonna love this one. So I was killing it, right? And then the guy who, <laughs> <laughs> the guy who um, got me the job got fired because he ran over a fire extinguisher with the petty bones, like a big forklift. So they're like, fuck, poopies. He kind of taught you how to drive the petty bone. I was like, yeah, I can drive the thing, you know? This huge ass heavy machinery. Like, I'm fucking driving around, picking up nails and fucking plywood on the roofs. Like, I'm killing it. And then they bring in this new petty bone, and I wasn't used to it. And you have to, some of you have to pull the parking brake and the, e- the hydraulic brake. Well, this one I wasn't used to. So I go up to the top of this hill and there's the, the bin, you know, where you get all the nails and all the shit for the framers. So I'm getting all the shit for the framers. I walk into the bin and I fucking come out and I go, who the fuck took my petty bone? Bro, the Mexicans are pointing at it. They're like, your petty bone's down here, bro. I forgot to put on the brake. <laughs> the thing went backwards, dude. Down this hill, almost took out a house, <laughs> took out this masonry wall, and I, I was like, dude, this is gnarly, dude. And I look at the petty bone, the, the wheels are all fucked up and shit. And then, dude, it was like the boss, I see the boss coming up the hill with this truck. I'm like, bro, I didn't even know. I forgot to put the hydraulic brake on. He goes, he goes, Sean, I think it's it's time for you to to um take, you know. <laughs> So beat it. <laughs> so he's like, beat it, kook. And I was like, fuck yeah, unemployment, summertime, let's go. All right. So I was stoked on that. Nice. But, I, but I almost took out a fucking like million dollar house that wasn't even built yet. Um, when you, when you it, were 18, what did you see yourself doing in life? Like, what did you want to be when you got older? I have no, I wanted to be a pro surfer. And, and when you were working that construction job, the, your boss called you poopies. No, at that time, yeah. So I didn't let anyone know my name was Poopies because I hated it. He still didn't like it. So I yeah. tried to hide that name. So when did uh, 
But at any year he references, if he's two, he's like, my mom called me poopies, get off the couch. <laughs> yeah. At four, his dad said right, poopies. Right, right. So when did you embrace the name poopies? Dude, so when I went to Hawaii. You're still conflicted about it, I know. Yeah, dude, it's... it's did, did you, did you, did, does your Tinder say poopies now? No, it says Sean. Because you I'm don't still weird like, about the th when like I meet chicks, dude. I don't go hi, I'm Poopies. I go hi, I'm Sean. And then my friends goes, "What? That's not your name. His name's Poopies." I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're like, dude, I'm trying to crush some beef. Over yeah, here. dude, I need some puss. You guys are getting mad. <laughs> I, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 19 because my name was Poopies. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking joke. Is that like an icebreaker or something? Like, yeah, a dude, like what? Why is your name Poopies? Oh, he took a shit in the street. Yeah, but they don't get the jackass thing that you know. They they're like, we were just that savage. We loved it. And no one else liked it, you know, because they're all jocks and shit. We're their surfers and skaters. We loved it. But the jocks and all the hot chicks that you want to hook up with, they don't like that shit. So yeah. it was definitely like a, definitely a cock block for me. I mean, it's a great name. I love it now. Like I fucking love my name now. Like Except when you're trying to crush beef. Well, now they go, wait, you're poopies? Uh, and now it's like whole 360. I'm like, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yep, I'm poopies. That's what's up. Yeah. But now dude. it's a whole 360, which is, I got to st still stay humble. You know, you can't take that power too far. But, you know, when they call yeah. me poopies, I'm like, yeah, you know. And then they go, but there's, it's funny. I've, I've known people for like two years and they go, so what's your real name? Like right. they won't even know my real name for like two Sean, years. Sean McInerney. Yep. Sean. Did I say it right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good, good job. Retention. It's like two names, Mac and Ernie. Yeah. yeah Mac and Ernie. <laughs> I like Sean that. Sean Patrick like Mac Bert and Ernie. Ernie. Yeah. Burton Ernie. When yeah. I got your hotel tonight, I was like Sean. I was like fuck. I just put MGM, MGM, MGM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta go explain that when we go to the hotel tonight. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So construction was great, and then I got a better offer. To smuggle drugs across the Tijuana border. Wow. Allegedly, you got. Allegedly. Yeah, I mean, whatever, dude. It says you're a mule. Yeah, I was a mule. What yeah. kind of drugs? Um, hash. Hash, okay. Yeah, so. Hash, huh? Over the Mexican border? Yeah. From Mexico to U.S. or U.S. to Mexico? So, the old the old dude, Uncle Danny. I don't think a lot of people are smuggling <laughs> drugs into Mexico. Okay, fair no. enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Money, yes, but yeah, not you know, drugs. And, uh, I probably wouldn't say any names either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's passed. He's, uh, he's up in heaven now. Okay. Uncle okay. Danny, dude, he was this old timer that lived at the surf shop, and he was a Porto Escondido local. Like, when we go to Porto... You get, you know. So, what was your you, method? Scott loves asking, uh, like, rock stars how they would smuggle drugs. Like, what was your method? Oh, dude, I got the best method ever. Oh, it worked dude. so good. Keister. No, no, no. I would not. How'd keister. your butthole end up so fucked up? <laughs> 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 I've never even seen my butthole before, so uh, I don't know. Uh, we have. I know. <laughs> but, uh, you guys love my butthole, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, how do you smuggle? So, this old guy was at the surf shop, you know, he would visit the surf shop, and I'm like, so he's in and out so but he was super cool we weren't even 21 yet we'd be like hey can you buy us some beers you'd be like yeah for sure but we'd always be like a dollar short you'd get so pissed but um so he passed away and they asked me they go poopies you want to take over uncle danny's job and i kind of knew what he did and i was like fuck dude i was like well what do we got to do he's like well you got to smuggle hash across the border and we'll pay you two g's how much hash four kilos Wow, that's more than you can fit in your butt. Yeah, four kilos a lot more, dude. <laughs> a lot is that like more. ten pounds? Wait, two point two pounds per kilo. Four. Yeah, that's just about almost. It's eight point eight pounds, or yeah, okay. something. Yeah, yeah, almost ten pounds. Eight pounds. That's 8. a lot. That's 8. like uh, four Ziploc bags. Full yeah, of slash. Dude. So it was all wrapped up. But um, so you got a so big I was like, asshole. "Fuck, I'll do it." You know, I I was like, <laughs> "Fuck it, I'll do it." I was dumb as fuck, dude. How old were you? 18. That's like life. Nah, you said that you're, okay, whatever. Yeah, 18. So after okay. construction, after. Okay. So All I right. got fired from that, and then I was like, fuck, I was kind of in the, in the right, hole. Right. So, so how would so, serve 8.8 so, pounds of hash? So That's my friend, lot. my friend um, lives in Laguna Beach, and um, he was kind of part of the deal too. So I was, I took over Uncle Danny's spot, which he's the best smuggler in the world. So they had their, you know, they had their ways of doing it. So I met up with this guy. Um, in a hotel, Tijuana hotel, like the nice one, and I'd go up to his room, and he'd have these pajamas, like, um, like sewn long johns. In. So it'd be sewn into the pajamas. Yeah, pockets sewn into the long johns. So okay. I'd put on the long johns, and then he'd put these bricks of hash 
on me. Straight out of that movie. The Wolf of Wall the, Street, the, right? The, no, 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 Midnight no, no, Express. The Midnight oh. Express, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. So my first time, I'm like, dude, what the fuck am I doing? So and I can't so go just the first through. time. So, so yeah, the first time. So I was like, "What the fuck am I doing?" But what did you wear anything over the long time? Yeah. So yeah, they put all the hash on me and they tape so, it all up. So you're dressed up like you're going on to fuck a ski resort, but it's actually Tijuana where it's like super <laughs> yeah. warm. You're the yeah. only guy who dressed for winter. Like long John. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was the thing. This was the thing. You got to wear loose clothing over it. So I look like some fucking weirdo with loose clothing and fucking with big boobs. <laughs> oh, dude! So I would, I they tape it up on me, put on the loose clothing, and they'd be like, "All right, well now let's go get some drinks." So I'd go out and TJ and have drinks with all this strapped on me to get comfortable with it. Right, right, right. So you don't want to be too nervous going. Yeah, through. yeah. So I would just be all wasted, you know, like yeah, we're partying, dude. They don't even know I have fucking eight pounds of hash on me. And then I go through the borderline with all the party kids. And they're like, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just partying, you know? And they're like, all right, Grom. Are you thinking like, man, a dog Bro. might smell this. Dude. <laughs> so all they would have to do is just touch me and they would feel it. And dude, they'd have dogs right there too. I just like kind of just not so look at them. So they, there were dogs yeah. when you had that much hash strapped to you? Yeah. And the dog didn't? Nope. It was, it was no smell. They're really good at what they do. Uh, so they were packing it in like vacuum sealed bags. Yeah, so they'd, like... they'd bring it from Porto. They'd make it in Porto in the Oaxaca Mountains. Okay, so, so you got through without any issue. Yeah, got through without Ten, any so, issue. So two grand for that one walk across the border. Mm-hmm. And how many times did you do that? I did that twice. Oh, that's but it? the second time was so sketch, dude. Like I thought I was going to get busted, but luckily I didn't. And I fucking made it through and... I have to have it still on me too when I, I have to make it up like at least past North County with it so and then finally they cut it off me I get get to this guy's house they cut it all off me dude I could fucking breathe dude cause I couldn't breathe dude with it all on me and shit and mm. I have to like suck in and like show my passport and be like yo I'm just here partying and like trying to suck it all in dude it was fucking gnarly damn how so, much of the two grand would you spend in Tijuana that night oh I wouldn't get paid until I made it all the way oh okay yeah, yeah, I'd go straight to 7-Eleven, grab Slurpees, all the candy, all the hot dogs for all my boys. Nice. We were living large at that surf shop after a run. For real. Yeah. It was gnarly, but yeah, dude, that was the smuggling shit. And I was over that, dude. So I started going up north to trim weed. Trim weed? Yeah, so I was working on a farm. So how much do you get paid to trim weed? Like 200 bucks a day. And they feed you and house you, so the whole time you're just saving money. And that's... Uh, how that's much can you trim in a day? I can trim like a pound in a day. Like it's like 200 bucks a pound, you know? So I trim like a pound a day, but it would take me fucking all fucking day long. Like it sucked. So I did that for a few years. So I'd go up north from from like August to October and trim for like three, two months. Excuse me. So I'd go up there, trim, save my money, and I'd go to Hawaii with my trim money. And that's how I made it to Hawaii every every winter. So my goal was before my birthday, I'd have to make it to Hawaii before my birthday. So, so it was when you got to Hawaii that you met Jamie O'Brien. Yeah, not not uh, two years after actually. My first winter I didn't meet him. Then my second winter I met him. Okay. And How'd then, you meet him? Um, I was actually hanging out with his filmer Damian Robertson, and we we're kicking it. You know, um, he's kind of like. Hey, I'll film a couple clips for you if you get a good one. I was like, sick, cool. And then I found out he's Jamie's filmer. I'm like, what? You're fucking Jamie O'Brien's filmer? He's like, yeah, you want to come over and hang out? We're going to barbecue tonight. And so I came over and um, they go, yeah, this is Damien. goes, yeah, this is my friend Poopies. And Jamie goes, what? Your name's Poopies? Were you <laughs> bummed that he introduced you as Poopies? Kind of. Because I was trying to, so when I went to Hawaii, I was trying to get rid of my nickname. I went to Hawaii, I was like, yes, there's no more poopies. And my friend, Tiago, he's like, bro, his name's Poopies, you guys. <laughs> like, don't let him tell you his name's not Poopies. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I tried to get rid of that name. I tried to escape the name and it followed me, dude, to Hawaii. Yeah. So then they're like, fuck, why do they call you Poopies? I told him the story, you know. But it was funny because Jamie. Did you tell him the whole story? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Jamie, it was funny because Jamie kind of felt bad for me. He's like, dude, I'm not going to call you Poopies. I'm going to call you Sean. A week later, he's like, your name's fucking Poopies, dude. <laughs> Sweep the floors, fucking do the dishes, 
and we'll fucking go surf a little bit. So yeah, and he, and and he was already making the Red Bull show or no? He made one movie, his own surf movie that came out on DVD, and then Red Bull it kind of did good. So Red Bull was like, well, let's try a web series. That's when f- like web series were first coming out. So yeah. so we started the web series and it fucking took off and. They just loved us seeing us travel. I mean, dude, I know that before anybody had any clue that you were on Jackass, you were already surf royalty. Like when I was at Kelly Slater's Surf Ranch, oh, I was like, dude, we're making a new Jackass movie and we got poopies in it. Every single person was like, no way, poopies. Sick. Like you're well known in the surf industry. Yeah, I mean, I send it. It's my, my kind of um, title in the surf world is like poopies poopies <laughs> yeah. but it's not like I'm not the pro surfer you know right 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 I'm not the pro surfer who's getting all the money from all the sponsors and all the chicks and stuff I'm poopies who is sending it for right. fucking 100 bucks a fucking day you're kind of like in surfing what I used to be in skateboarding I would be the guy in the videos doing anything but skateboarding yeah yeah well yeah I mean exactly cause you just want to be one of the boys you know well I wanted to be in skate videos and I wasn't that good at skating yep. so I lit myself on fire and shoved things up my butt yeah I love it yeah um, <laughs> so, so you, you become famous become like, famous in the surf world strictly from Jamie O'Brien's Red, yeah. Red Bull series and then his YouTube channel yeah so after the web series Series. We did that for eight years. Um, Jamie's like, let's. We're not going to give Red Bull any of our content. We're starting our own YouTube channel. And he's done very well with that. Oh, he's done so well. So, but, he, but how did you go from that to Jackass? You met Trip Taylor. Yeah, so Jackass I met Trip producer. Taylor when I was sixteen in Carlsbad, California, at the surf shop that I used to hang oh, out at. Wow. Because wow. he was trying to do a um, show for my friend Adam Knox. He's putting together a reel for him, and it was super boring until I showed up because they called me like. We got this one kid, his name's Poopies, he'll fucking send it. So they call me up, like, Poopies, we're going to film something, you want to come? I was like, fuck yeah. It's funny, too, because it's still on YouTube. You can see how fucking nervous I am. I'm like, hi, I'm Poopies, and fuck, it's fucking classic. But I, I sent it for them, and, and the show never got picked up. And Trip saw my success with Red Bull TV and seen all this crazy shit I did. And he came to me one day, he's like, Poopies, they're looking for new talent for Jackass. I go, shut the fuck up. Yeah. He goes, I'm trying to get you in. Don't get yeah. your hopes up. I was like, I'm not, I'm not. And then all of a sudden, I get a call from Trip. Hey, I got you a Skype call with Knoxville and Jeff Tremaine. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, I was so nervous, dude. I was counting the days. I think I had seven days until that Skype call, dude. I was so fucking nervous until that moment came on. Then they, boom. Hey, Poopies, how's it going? From Knoxville and Jeff to me. I'm like, what? What's up, you guys? Like, I'm freaking out inside. But we had like a 10-minute Skype call, and they're like, we're flying you out to L.A. to come do a test shoot. And it fucking went fabulous. And that's when they said, Poopies, you are made for this. Yeah, I wasn't there at that test shoot. I know. Shoot. I was like, where the fuck, Steve-O? Yeah, I wasn't there. I, I was trying to uh, hold out for a better contract. So I was yeah. playing hardball with yeah, the Yeah, playing the hard to get. That's and Smart. uh and but i heard from everybody after that test shoot and everybody said dude this new guy poopies is going to be the breakout star of this he's so fucking funny no he's way. Just so i heard such glowing shit about you from that test shoot Sick, dude. everyone said you were going to be it you're going to be the star dude. Yeah, I was a trip, dude. I went there and I was like, I'm not holding back. Like, I was volunteering for every stunt. <laughs> and they're like, dude, this kid's fucking, is he mentally crazy or what? Like, yeah. I was like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. So, I mean, that was my point in my time in my life is I have this opportunity and I don't want to fucking let it go. So I had to, like, try my yeah. hardest and pretty much put my life on the line. Is there any- the thing, too, it, it was so great. Like, I, I was talking with Preston Lacey the other day. I talked to Preston every day. And he only says great things about poopies. And you know what? I only say great things about athletic greens, man. I've told you before, I use this every day. But candidly, today was a gnarly day, dude. I started at 8.15 in the morning with radio interviews. I was all over Florida doing just work all day and I somehow didn't get around to doing what I'm doing right now which is dumping my athletic greens into a cup of water better late than never man and what's athletic greens well it is like a supplement which you can take on a completely empty stomach first thing in the morning it's loaded with 75 different vitamins minerals probiotics 
like just so much healthy stuff it fills in all of the gaps in my crappy diet and lately that's an important thing I'm telling you plus it tastes absolutely delicious i mean it's good for gut health it's good for digestion it's good for nutrition and it's just downright delicious i i use it every single day it's called athletic greens and if you go to athleticgreenscom steveo you're going to get five of these travel packs totally for free and they're going to give you an entire year's supply of immune boosting vitamin d you can't beat it man i swear by it i love it it's delicious it's healthy and you can't pass up this deal go to athleticgreens.com slash devo five free travel packs a year's supply of vitamin d it's a great deal and get on it so while I pound this, let's hear about how much everybody loves poopies. And and I was like, like what? Because you genuinely are the the breakout star of the movie. You know, I I, I really think that that's Thank safe you. to say. And I was Preston and I were saying like, dude, what? Like poopies doesn't even have like in Jackass Forever like that one signature solo bit that's like, like you don't even. They didn't you know? put it in. They didn't put it in. What was it? It was uh, called. Oh, I'll show. I'll show me. Yeah, I'll show me. Dude, I love that. What is that? Oh, dude. He's standing on a stepladder with a fucking sledgehammer. He's on the top rung. He goes, "I'll show me." And he swings the stepladder down, knocks it out from beneath him, and then lands on his fucking face. <laughs> like, That's dude, amazing. I was afraid I was what? gonna break my neck. <laughs> dude, I didn't want to show dude, that, dude. I would. It looked like you broke your fucking. Dude, neck. I went straight like. Boom. I can't believe is that it didn't 4. make 5? it. Is. It's a okay. four point five. Dude, who knows? It's the best. Because that test shoot, maybe people don't realize a lot of that ended up in the movie dude, in Jackass so Forever that yeah. cause that was what that's like all the stuff at Dirdex plays dude dude the, the airbag musical chair yeah. where Wee Man does the flip was from the test shoot yeah. the dum dum game was from the test Which shoot Poobies is hilarious in that yeah Thank the you. dum dum game that is classic amazing. the ping pong penis where they, ping pong uh, penis ping pong where they flatten yeah, the, that was the wieners yeah fascinating that was the test yep. shoot. The human ramp with the yep. all yep. the guys stacked up. That yep. did. the test yeah. shoot was like unbelievably productive. There's yeah. so much of we that. We got fucking so much shit. shit done in those two days. It was crazy. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it's insane. Is there anything that you won't do, like swim with sharks again or something? I would will you not say? jump sharks again unless I have a fucking protective yeah. suit. No, I'm just joking. Well, then that was crazy not, too. I will yeah. not. I'm I'm not fucking with sharks anymore, dude. I'm like. I fucking tested my boundaries and Dude, luckily I still have my hand. For for uh, people who didn't catch the Jackass Shark Week episode, I, I think by, by probably a, like a lot of people know you got badly bitten by a shark. Yeah, man, it was. Can you show the camera? Yeah, dude, it was it was, the, it it was, was crazy. the gnarliest fucking thing. I know. I felt bad for you guys because you had to go through it, but fucking, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, you, how dare you do that to us? <laughs> 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 well, That's what he was worried about you know, in the hospital. Was you know, so so. It's fucking still on, but dude. It's fucking gnarly though. Which camera should you show, Paul? Oh, uh, dude, this, that's it's your, so your best gnarly. Shot. It looks like your hand has been like like burned, like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, burned. That's that's funny because I say that I, I tell people it looks like Freddy Krueger's face. Like yeah, yeah it's, it's so tissue. gnarly. It dude. was crazy as Papa Poops has a missing hand I mean, on the same hand. Yeah, did you know that, Steve? He's his got dad missing... is missing a hand. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's and right. His. Poops yeah. almost took after his dad. My, my dad. dad got his hand um, ran over by a train. Let's put into perspective uh, yeah. how fucking obvious it was that that was going to happen. Dude, I, <laughs> okay. well, this was the thing. This was the thing. I had one, I had just, I didn't have any practice runs. Well, I mean, dude. If I would have got a practice run, a couple practice run with no sharks, I made it. You know, yeah, I could have got no the. Sharks, I could have got the. It wouldn't have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, if he would have landed it and ridden away, oh my it god, that would have been fucking right. amazing. But okay, so here's the thing, like, and it, it really, like, was like supposed to be me because the bigger bit was a dunk tank built on on barrels so it was floating oh, yeah. so that the actual oh, yeah. tank was the ocean with all the sharks and yeah. i was just they had this dunk tank with the the seat above the like six feet above the water no cage underneath no cage underneath just barrels on the water and the seat six feet above and it's got the target and everyone's supposed to be throwing Chum. chunks of meat 
at the target so that the hunks of meat bring all the sharks and then when one hunk of meat actually hits the target it'll drop me into the water and i thought when i heard the idea i thought that that sounded like the safest thing because when we were in south africa during the the uh great white yeah they said if you land on the shark then like that's the safest thing this it'll startle the shark like right. this, land in the water startle the shark it's gonna bolt so i was like oh dude i'll be perfectly fine i'll be safe well we get there and there was something about these sharks these caribbean reef sharks doesn't sound like a scary shark but when we threw a piece of meat in the water it was Ooh. the gnarliest fucking wow. These sharks were climbing all over each other, biting everything. Like I can't I, think dude, about it. They were the most aggressive fucking sharks I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I, I saw a leaf land on the water and it was <laughs> oh like my God. a leaf. Remember when you were feeding them from the oh, yeah. from the back of the boat? Gnarliest shit ever, dude. They were it was fucked up. It was a up. frenzy. They, they were, were yeah. fucking like a frenzy. So, as fuck. so they, they put a fucking uh, a water ski jump ramp in the water and now like what we're doing is we're throwing hunks of meat right to the to the landing in front of the ramp. So it's just this swarm of sharks like climbing all over each other to get that fucking meat. What the plus it was dusk which which is when sharks are the most active so, protected. We're losing light, and you don't want to swim at dusk. That's the most dangerous time. We're even saying, dude, it's dusk, like, it's the, you know? And so <laughs> we're throwing the, the hunks of meat in front of the ramp where Poopies is going to land. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? Every time something landed in that water, it was like the sharks were conditioned. Oh, here's we're feeding them. Right. Something lands. It's it's it's, it's meat. Food. Eat it. Yeah. It's food. And so we're throwing it. We're throwing it. And then the next thing that fucking lands on that water is poopies. The fuck did you think was gonna happen? All, the only thing that has landed on that water is food. And then poopies is the next thing to land. He's food. He gets bitten. Was okay, the so idea that he would jump successfully? Yeah, or they like, to, no I, wanted, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to jump over him, at least clear him. So wait, it was poops. the most fucking, in hindsight, it was the most reckless, most obvious fucking shit that, and, and had we, had we were supposed to film the dunk tank before that. Mm hmm and it was the same dynamic. If I did the dunk tank, I would have. They would have been throwing everything's food, everything's food, and then poof, drop the chair, and I'm food. Yeah, so you're it poops, right there. What, when you hit the water, what do you remember? So I just remember looking at the boys on the boat and just fuck dude I was just like I'm fucked boys I mean we saw the sharks like he landed on the sharks we saw them just fucking commotion and is he underwater him, and then we saw his hand come up out of the water and dude it was so I couldn't right? say anything instantly yeah I couldn't say nothing because I was in shock so I like I was trying to tell him that I got bit but I like couldn't really you tell felt him. it oh fuck dude, yeah he would have been I fucked. felt the gums of the mouth like it bit my hand and I felt the top of the of its mouth the roof of his mouth with my fingers is all like oh. slimy and shit. And that's when I knew I was like, I'm fucking getting bit right now. So like, I'm so like, I felt oh, the bite and I go, oh fuck. If I like pull my hand off, it's going to take my hand. So I, I let him have my hand. You just gave up. Yeah, dude. I was just like, dude, here's my hand, bro. And that'll and luckily, show you how slow motion this experience is unfolding because all it was was... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? for real. So yeah. And then, dude, it felt like the strongest, like a full, like... It felt like someone grabbed you like with a fucking robot hand and just like you have no there's it was so powerful and so muscular. I don't know. It's, it was a straight muscle. It felt like a straight muscle that just can just take my hand off. Dude, it was so fucking gnarly. We, we like the first thing that we saw like that where like was Poopy's hand come up out of the water and it's just gushing blood. Yeah, it was off. And it was just like, "Oh, fuck." It was like the gnarliest thing ever. And the actual like it was a, a wave runner, like jet ski, which the medic was driving to tow poopies on the wakeboard off the ramp. So he was being towed. Yeah, he's, by that the, was his first tow too. So, yeah. so the 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 medic was driving the the jet ski, tows poopies off the ramp, sees the fucking thing, and the medic is on the jet ski, turns it around, and drives straight back and dives off Jumps the moving Jumps on gym, my back. Dives dives on there, like dude, this medic just. Dove into this this mix so fucking fast, saved poopies in such a big way, dude. Like wow. just no regard for yeah. himself. Dove in the mix, fucking grabbed poopies, fucking 
that got just got poopies out of the water. Now poopies is climbing on the boat. Like if you hold your hand limp, right? Like hold your hand limp vertical. Your hand comes out horizontal. It's like the right. stranger, right? Only so far it can go. It's it can, your hand can only yeah. come out horizontal. Yeah. But because all of Poopy's tendons were completely severed, his hand was flopped all the way down. Like all the way down, flat like, to his forearm. Flat to, oh. flat, his hand was flat to his wrist. You saw this, Steve? I saw. I saw his hand flopped all the way down as he got on the boat. I was like, "Oh my god!" Because I was... tried to like push up, but it like, dude. Yeah, he, you tried to use your hand. Yeah, for I tried a to use my to hand. And I was boat. like, and then I fucking lifted it up, and it fell off. And I was like, "Oh fuck, dude!" I was like, "This is not dude, good." But that is... guy saved my life because I don't think if he if he didn't jump on me, I would have gotten mauled to death. Yeah. I, I don't doubt that. Yeah. I don't doubt that. And if everyone didn't move so fucking fast, he would have bled out. Definitely. He had his arteries severed. Was it multiple arteries? Two arteries. Two One arteries. On the radial? Dude, I ha- I saw blood squirting out like a perfect straw. Like you just spit oh. water out of a straw. It was perfect Dead. circle. Oh. It was so like, you get on the boat, they wrap you up, and you're Dead. gone. Like well, how quickly screen, is there's, that? There's, there's, so the medic, the Turn medic's the bag, the medic's bag was on another fucking boat. So they're like medic bags. So they'd like go fucking like, and it, it all happened so fucking fast. Yeah, and the current, like, the current was fucked. So like, it took me to the side of the boat where I'm supposed to get on. It passed that. So now they're like pull, trying to get me on the boat, and then my way wakeboard gets stuck between these two oh, metal yeah, he's bars. he's still on the wakeboard. And I'm still oh. on the wakeboard. <laughs> and Jeff Tremaine's trying to get the wakeboard off. He goes, fuck, I don't know how to fucking get this wakeboard off. I'm like, Dead. just chill, just chill. I'm like, just grab me a fucking towel. And so they've got the wakeboard off. They got me onto the boat. And I'm like, just give me the fucking towel. Everyone's freaking out. They're like, they don't know what to do. I'm just, give me a fucking towel. I wrap it up and I just fucking hold on. And I, d- I remember one of the camera divers, he's just like, just slit, just lay in my, just lay in my arms. Dude, wow. everybody was so fucking pro, dude. I just like, it was a, it was a double decker boat and I just went straight to the top deck just like to, to the other side of the boat top deck and just put had my face in my hands i was just like jesus yeah i couldn't uh, deal with it and what were you I, thinking steve Why well, i just i just knew that i didn't add anything i added no value to the situation we had the medics we they had they got the tourniquet going jesus, dude. they fucking immediately like had a you know the speed boat I mean, showed dude, up Poopies was on the boat probably in less than a minute. Yeah. Tourniquet was on, you know, like... The longest time of that part was getting was the like, wakeboard off, I think. Right. And, and then I and got that off, and then it was just like speedboat, medic bag, tourniquet. So I had a tourniquet on this arm right here, and then I had a yeah. tourniquet like right here. Mm-hmm. Got but you. Dude, just to stop like, the blood flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it fucking... But it wasn't like working that well. But yeah, luckily, they got a... I fucking took a speedboat, dude. Dude, the speedboat came in so hot to the docks, dude. We almost fucking like ate shit into the docks. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that one and bumped was, my hand too when we hit the dock, yeah. bro. I was like, Phew. I was like, oh. How yeah, fast it was, were you like, it was like a ten minute, ten minute boat ride to the dock, okay, and they had minute. they a ten minute boat ride to the dock, and then they had to get me in a van, which was yeah, twenty they had minutes. Yeah, van ready to go. Twenty minutes to the hospital, and then they got me in the hospital, and they're on like lunch break or some shit, and I got some. <laughs> and dude, keep in mind, this is the Bahamas. This is not the most capable. Oh, fucking dude. hospital, right? You know, and, and but they were they, they were able to stabilize Poopies at the Bahamas hospital, and they were like, "Yo, he's got to get air lifted to uh, to Miami Florida, to yeah. get you know." Because I had to sign so, myself out of the hospital because there's this little Asian doctor, and he's like waiting on a phone call to like get the approval for surgery. I'm like, dude, I'm not getting surgery in the Bahamas. <laughs> and Poopy's dad was at the hospital in the Bahamas. They wouldn't let his dad in. Yeah, they wouldn't let my dad in. Because coronavirus. They're like, no, yeah. you can't be in. And Poopy's dad was fucking Dude, I just off. wanted to see someone that I knew. Like, it yeah. was the worst time in my life. Like, Dude, oh, and, and when, the, when, when they get Poopy's on the speedboat to take him to the, to the shore... I'm up on the top deck and I see poopies on the speedboat and I just go, Poopies, I love you, dude. And uh and fucking Poopies looks up, he goes, Fucking Steve O, what the fuck? Or no, he goes, he, no, he says he says, Yo, Tremaine, what the fuck? 
I better get a bonus for this. <laughs> yeah. I thought, yeah. I, thought, I want a fucking bonus, dude. <laughs> Did you get a bonus? No. Um, no. <laughs> no. Uh, my what? bonus. My, 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 I can't, I can't yeah. hear you. The engine. <laughs> right. And, and no. so, so, like, that, and, 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 and right as soon as it happened. The, the medics are doing all their thing, right? You got like Tremaine's there. You've got like, you know, Tri- Trip Taylor was there, and then you've got like the the Discovery the, the, the people. Discovery Channel people there. They're so they're fucking like, freaking out. There's like the Jackass production team, and then there's the Discovery production team, which was just another pr- production company. Mm-hmm. And the guy, the, the executive producer for this other production company, like whoever the main guy was, he goes, "Oh my god, dude." He goes, dude. Oh my God, we just we just ended Shark Week. Like, there's oh my God, like there's never gonna be Shark Week. The, Shark Week had had gone on for up to that point thirty years without <laughs> ever anybody getting bitten by a shark, and Knoxville's like, dude, it took us thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? like, well, yeah. I mean, Jesus, it's so, the best documented shark bite clip in history, perhaps. Perhaps. Wow. Yeah. And uh, and so, like, as soon as this executive producer guy says, dude, we just ended Shark Shark, they're, like, they're, the Shark Week's over, dude, we could fuck it off. Oh my God, this is the worst fucking thing. And I said, no. I, immediately. I, this is when I snapped out of it, and I was no longer, like, shut down emotionally. I snapped out of it. I go, no. You had dude. value to add. I, yeah, yeah. Now, now I felt yeah. I had value. Steve had my back, dude. Steve said, had my back. Immediately, I said, I said, no. No, the, 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 the worst thing, the only bad thing that can happen out of this situation is if that footage doesn't come out. Yeah. Because this footage will make Poopies a legend. And the worst possible tragedy would be if Poopies had this happen to him and then didn't get the credit. Yep. This has to fucking come out and, and we will go to war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like whatever. Like, because cause they, they figured that the show was going to be shut down. Everything was just going to be they shut down. They thought I was like, going to sue him and shit. And like, I was like, nah, dude, I'm just. I don't know that there would have been, would have been a lot of grounds for suing. No, that I mean, they had I a wouldn't want to do that. I'm not that guy, anyways. Right. They, right. they must like, have had a lot of views for that episode, right? I mean, oh, probably dude, the most. Dude, it was it was humongously successful for 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 they they, they were thrilled. And, that was uh, my debut of Jackass. And, and, <laughs> and, and then the next day, n- the next day we learned that not only is Shark Week not shut down, but we're gonna go filming. Poopies has been air vacked, you know, to Miami. I was in surgery. Poopies had multiple surgeries to yeah. reattach severed arteries and tendons. All who my kn- tendons. Who knows how you reattach completely severed arteries, but they did that for two of them. It's just insane. And they tell us, hey guys, we're going on another shark tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the next day you guys went out. Huh? After, when you were in Miami, we went on another shark dive. And they're doing all these interviews and dude, I'm like, that's and I'm like, dude, I mean, fucking that, uh, yeah, I was just fucking hamming it up. I, I, I was like, dude, fucking. Um, Let's go find the shark that yeah, we gotta go yeah, get Yeah, we got to go get revenge. revenge. That show, when, when, right. What that shark did to Poopies was not cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going back in the water to find that son of a bitch and give him a piece of our mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Legend, like, legend. That was not fucking cool, man. And we are going to go fuck. But we're, we're, but we're not trying to look for, for bad blood. We, we, we just want to go squash the beef. Let yeah. me know that wasn't cool. Yeah. And just right. squash the beef. You yeah, know? yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, and I was like, and I was like, shark. I was like, Poopies is probably gonna make a full recovery, and this will be the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah, you filmed that video that night at the yeah, hotel. Yeah, plus he got to ride his first private jet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I'm so glad I fucking survived that thing, dude. Are you glad it? I'm glad I still have my hand all? though. Like, imagine if I didn't have a hand, dude, I'd have been like, fuck. I'm so yeah, glad dude, you dude, survived that much? thing too. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm sure everyone. <laughs> you were is. supposed to have it fully back in October. That was now October, November, December, January, February, yeah, March. Yeah, like, I'm so still going. Like, I'm still going to physical therapy. So, so we're six months late, and it's not all the way dude, back. Six months later, dude. It's a shark bite. People are like, oh, yeah. Bite, They're like, they they treat it like it's not a shark bite. It's like, a, they like treat it like it's a broken wrist or something. I'm like, dude, you guys, this thing is like, this is all it can do, you know? Like, oh my God, you don't have shit back. No, dude, like, I can do that, that, and that. So if you're just and listening, I, Poopy's got I, about 10 degrees on going up or down on his wrist. Yeah, that's and I can't make a fist. <clears throat> and, yeah, but do you have I nightmares? Can, I can shock her. 
<laughs> I mean, dude, that's that's fucking heartbreaking. But but you've been back in the water. You're able to surf. Yeah, again. yeah. I fucking my first time surfing wasn't in, in like in October after my birthday. Oh, so you did surf on schedule. I did surf on schedule, but that, it wasn't now, like uh, it wasn't really like pumping surfing. It was more like trying to see how much weight my wrist can take. Did you surf pipeline? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Pipeline's gnarly. Pipeline's gnarly. When I get a good pipeline barrel, I'll be so fucking pumped. But we're still working on that. Still so, dude, on like, that. you're you're not back. Your wrist is. Not I'm not back. back, dude. Like, I can't even ride a sh- shortboard. Like, I have to soft top every time. Like, a yeah, so- that's so fucking heartbreaking, I man. Know, man. But After that happened, I remember I felt guilty, and I had fucking like, I, know, I, know. I don't know why the fuck I would feel guilty. <laughs> I didn't fucking. You didn't do anything. I didn't put you up to it, yeah, dude. I didn't bite like, anybody. You should have felt that way. I know, but anybody. dude, I, I felt really fucking awful about the situation, and and I was uh, I, I was like, dude, fucking discoveries gonna fucking sugarcoat this I knew because when we filmed the end of that episode they were trying to play it down like oh yeah, yeah he's full recovery like this and that and, and, and I, it was really important to me that, that you'd be able to tell that story like actually as it happened and so I reached out to certain people who had the raw footage yep and I got legend both underwater camera angles, all of the raw footage of the bite, all of everything, everything like the gnarliest <clears throat> and the gnarly clip that Discovery clip <coughs> didn't use. It was like yeah, too gnarly for like, them yeah, to use. Yeah, the, the stuff like so the poopies could tell the the real story of how it went down. And and I went around in one day. I went around and and I filmed Knoxville and Tremaine and Jasper who was there. Everybody who was there. And I did my own little interview with them. So and awesome. Then, and then Poopies did his own interview to tell the story. Mm-hmm. And we put together this phenomenal, phenomenal video yeah. about all of our perspectives on the attack. And Poopy in that Poopy's telling that story. Was that like the first time you told the story? Because Poopies broke down and fucking. Well, yeah, it was like the first yeah. time I ever told the story out of a discovery. Dude, that's it. Interview. We're linking that yeah. fucking video. Because you put it on your Chanel. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's on the poopy Chanel, bro. It's on the poopy <laughs> Chanel. You gotta yeah, check it out. Yeah, no, it's a powerful video. It's so well yeah, done. And, and it's the only video it's my on real, it's it's my the, real feelings out that one. For sure. Yeah, it's the only video on your Chanel that has over a million views. Yeah, huh? baby. Hell yeah. It's is there any, like, I know you're glad Thank you survived, right? But yeah. like, is there any part of you that you're glad you got bit? There is, there is, dude. Like, cause like, uh, like imagine my story is, is like, I fucking got bit by a shark. I jumped a fucking shark pit, like Fonzie was gonna, w- like Fonzie did, you know? Not like Fonzie did, no. no. Not like Fonzie did. But <laughs> you did a poopy style. I was sure. wearing what Fonzie was wearing, but um, yeah, 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 dude. I mean, like, who can say they jumped a fucking shark pit with a wakeboard and fucking didn't land it and got bit? And I'm li- I'm here to tell the story. Like, right. I don't think there's anyone in the world has ever fucking jumped a shark pit. Not like you have. Not like me. Yeah, yeah and the the bite. I mean, but yeah, dude, it is heartbreaking, crazy. but it's also it's it's definitely cool. like it yeah. adds to my legacy, dude. It adds yeah. to my legacy, man. What what are you limited in doing? Like we we've established that surfing Fuck. pipeline is so there's like surfing pipe, shortboarding, big waves. Um, there's 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 times where I'm like trying to open the door with my keys and like I got groceries and I like can't get my keys and like or there's times where I'm like trying to get something on my backpack and my arm my wrist doesn't reach that far. Mm. So there's all these little things, these little tiny things and that you, you wouldn't think of that twist? fucking suck. And you told yeah, I can me twist, okay. But okay. you told me that you asked me to, to line you up with stem cell therapy. Yeah, yeah, I want to go because do that. Because when you're texting with your phone, your, your your hand hurts you? Yeah, so like in the morning time, it's fine. Like I'll, I'll wake up in the morning and it feels great, you know? And then I'll wake up, take my shower, and I'll get on my phone. And when I'm on my phone, it's just like from just like texting and typing like my emails and shit or just liking stuff. And it just starts hurting. So then I get this ache in my hand and I get, I can't use it. And then it's like, fuck, well, I have to use it. Like, I have to, my whole day ahead of me, you know? Yeah, you gotta be swiping on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> linked Tinder. I linked you up with Michael at Bio Accelerator. Did yeah, you, yeah. Did you talk to him? Yeah. I have, I have. And I'm, Let's I'm, give them a shout out. Bio Accelerator. Yeah, Bio Acceler- Accelerator. Accelerator, <laughs> yeah. Bio Accelerator, dude. I'm coming for you guys. You guys are gonna help me out so much. I'm so stoked that you guys wanna help me. Can you do a 
like a push up or is that um, like too no he, he, nah. he's been practicing like with missionary sex yeah to just try to do some pumps and yeah so yeah because <laughs> you can also the elbows if you have actually, to actually it would help so much though because it would stretch it and dude it would hurt so much though but I was like I know I, this is this is good for it because it's stretching it so now I can fucking put my wrist all the way like that <laughs> wow so straight boning like was the best physical therapy yeah. that yeah, it was, and like I would tell people that, and they thought I was a fucking retard. But it's a um, good pickup line, you know. Yeah, no, dude, I, it would too, because I'd put so much weight on, because I'm trying to nut too, and like <laughs> you get in that zone, you know. You're like, yeah. come on, <laughs> and then yeah, I was just like, the dude, I put a lot of pressure on it, and then you know, and then it's like I finally nut, and then it's like, fuck, finally, I gotta like roll over and like hold my hand. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> babe, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> But, you're getting a frenzy yeah but yeah it fucking helped out a lot dude so That's that good. that kind of I was like as long as I can get my wrist to do that because I can need to stand up on my surfboard I'm fine and missionary helped out so much I don't think I should be sh I don't think I should have been doing that at that time but dude I was like I have to nut right now and yeah that's how I like to nut as missionary so good. so what, what is the <laughs> physical therapist and the doctors telling you Dude, is the, it, the physical progress? therapist is so fried. They keep doing the same shit and doing the same shit. And I'm like, dude, it's a fucking shark bite, dude. It ain't no normal injury, you know? My doctor's like, poopies, dude. You're a fucking man, dude. You're the man. And he helps me out. I see him every three weeks, Dr. Dan. And so he, every three weeks you're coming up to L.A. to go to, like, the foremost hand doctor in the world. Like, yeah, yeah. His, so he has his um, his assistant, which is a legend, too. And he checks. I go to Orange County at his office, and okay. he, he checks it out. But he said it's pretty much that's all I got. That's all you're ever gonna have. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah, dude. So I, that's what I wasn't hoping for. But I mean, that's how it just happens. But is it dude. gonna get stronger to where you can I don't surf know, a dude, short? Are, are, are you telling me you'll never be able to surf a shortboard again in your life? No, I will. I mean, how's that girl Bethany do it? What's the girl with one oh, arm? Yeah. She's gnarly, dude. So, so yeah. I have, yeah. She's gnarly. She's inspiration to me, because yeah, she's got one arm, dude, and she's standing up at pipe. Yeah, shout out to Bethany. Get yeah, hold of Bethany poops. Hamilton, you are a legend. If you can, I just watched her documentary this. on an airplane, and I was really fucking. She's stoked. gnarly, dude. She's gnarly. Yeah, she's rad. She's rad. I've never really got to meet her like in person. The difference for you though is that if you land on it bad, that it's fragile. It's it's yeah. like you know. Oh. Yeah, because look how small it is so, between this arm and that arm. I mean, dude, if you're a pipe you know and you mean? wipe out, you're f f f f. Yeah, if I yeah, and I, yeah. I can't swim. Yeah. So so the hand is actually a liability where. If it wasn't there, there would be no. Yeah, you might want to get that like uh, vest that you can and just pop. Oh, I have one of those. I've had one of those. Dude, I'm, I'm not, in, I'm not in the air, big wave the game top. anymore. I'm not over the big wave game. Dude. I'm on jackass now. I'm go. I'm safer on land now. I like land. Dude, it, it, it breaks my heart, dude. It really fucking breaks my heart to to learn that, dude. No, well, we should, we right, should drive Steve traffic though. to his merch channel to get him hey, some I money. Yeah, dude. let's get some let's get some money coming your way because Robbie's psyched. What uh like, I mean th th this is awkward, but it's safe to say that that you didn't get paid a whole bunch to be in the new Jackass movie. Yeah, we can we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because like well, yeah, it's like it's like I would fuck if I'm investing in this huge movie and I got these new guys. I don't know what they're about. I'm not gonna give them fucking a mill and be like, oh yeah, well, fuck. Well, right. I mean, the idea you know, is they, that I didn't, I didn't like perform what they wanted, you know. And then it's like pretty much a waste of their money. So I think it was kind of like let's see what they got first, and then maybe we'll fucking. Well, it's, it's like I Marcus, dude. It. You're like, I don't know. When we paid Marcus, you're like, all right, dude, this guy's in for it. Let's double it, you know. Well, right, but that's me. Like, like I like uh, the 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 world doesn't operate the way I do, you know. Like the mentality of yeah, of, you're uh, fucking a legend. You're a genius, dude. The, the, the mentality here is dude, these kids get to be on Jackass. They were like fans of Jackass growing up and now right. they get to be a yeah, part of like it. Our, like we our, don't our, have to pay them shit. They'll do it for free, probably. They'll do it for free, yeah. yeah. So, it, you know. Um, so, so, yeah, so, they, they got a little advantage on their side, you know? 
for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, and, and they're not wrong. I mean, they're yeah. not wrong. It's like, what are you gonna not be in a Fuck big movie? No, sure. You know, like it's yeah. like, oh, if, if you don't, if you won't do it for free, then then I guess you're not gonna be in the movie. Of course, you're gonna. Yeah, fucking fuck. Be in I'd the movie. be like, fuck it. That I'd be like, I'll do it for free. No, right, but dude, <laughs> yeah. like, like our, our buddy Zeke, who I introduced you to, who's just a fucking badass surfer. Yeah, dude, he kills it. We've been Jacob. hanging out a lot. Yeah, Jacob Zeke is Achilles. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out Jake. Uh, dude, he told me some crazy shit that you were like telling him that you were like in in trouble with money. Like, you know, he was like, "Yeah, we're trying to drive somewhere," and he and Oh me. yeah, yeah, fuck, dude. This fucking life's hard right now, man. It's a struggle out here. You were telling me you'd like I didn't have any gas money. Like I'm broke. <laughs> dude. And like I'm right now. If I show you my bank account, it's in the red. Damn. So we got to Is that because you you're bad at spending or just because no, you, didn't, I mean, you didn't have a lot of money coming in? I just, like when you got over when, 2 years of that jackass money cuz covid kept hitting and hitting, you know, and we had to get postponed and everything. So like through all those you know 2 years of living, you got expenses, you got, you know, costs. I mean, I just just living, you know, and all my all my bills and shit just fucking And you got that new truck. Yeah, I got my new truck. I needed my new truck though cuz I didn't have a car. And I was like, dude, there's one thing I'm getting, and it's my dream truck. And you're taking right. chicks out on dates, and you're like, fuck it. I'm spending money. Um, there was a point when I was eating really good. Yeah. But I'd always think, you know, I shouldn't have thought that, though. I was always thinking, oh, I'll be fine. You know, I'll get another. It'll come back. Money will come back, you know. Right. But, yeah, fuck. So, dude, let, let's. Dude, the struggle's real, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's, uh, let's figure out some. Are you on Cameo? I got cameo. Is that uh, that helps? Yeah, I charge. What, you, what are you charging for a cameo? Hundred bucks. Okay, and uh, how often are you getting them? I get one like um, once a week, maybe. Okay, can we please? And they love my cameos, dude. They're like fucking psyched. I get like ten okay. stars. Can we please? And I mean this genuinely. Everybody listening to this podcast, can we please get? cameo orders coming in for poopies dude I'll and, mer- and t-shirt sales and dude. can we please oh dude i got i'm sitting on merch dude i haven't sold a t-shirt i don't think in like a month oh dude can we bro please? yeah those shirts rule we gotta sell those know, shirts where, 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 where do we find those where do uh where poopies does your merch com. poopies store.com yep so that's okay. two s's in a row poopies yep. store yeah there's com. two s's cool okay and i got I, I got three d- shirts designs Presumably the store is linked in your Instagram bio. Yep. So I got a whole link tree of all my platforms. Okay. So as so, you click my link tree on my Instagram bio, it'll take you to all of my stuff. You ever thought about doing an OnlyFans? Um, I have, but I mean, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like OnlyFans is like for chicks and like I don't know, dude. I, I mean, think I think. Tiga, Tiga is like top three. Well, there's so many platforms like you could. Is it, how do you say it? Really? Tiga, Tiga. Yeah, you guys want to see poopy yeah. dick? Click here. No, no it's like missionary, like focusing, like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They can watch your rehab. You should do dude. your yeah. cameos while you're missionarying. Like <laughs> no, I, I, I got kids fans, so like I don't. I like the. I love the Groms. We call them Groms. Is it the same serve shop that you talked about going to when you dropped out of school? Is still. Still going? Still going. Corey Whitlock. Oh, my God. The Whitlock Surf Shop. That was that. The one that was in Carlsbad across 7-Eleven? Yeah. The first one? That was the one next to State Beach, and that's the one. Okay. That's where it all started, at Whitlock Surf Shop. Shout out to Corey Whitlock. Yeah, dude. He's Corey. a legend. But, yeah. yeah. So, those those T-shirts, your, your first order of merch, I was screen printing those shirts. Wow, dude, that's crazy. What, the classic Steve-O design? Yeah. Remember, remember the ones uh, that were like, like, oh, really like, yeah, the, like the, the ones where people like would come and then they, they would wash it once and then yep. all the ink would be gone? Yeah, because we didn't stamp them. You're Wait, supposed to stamp them all. put them in the oven to like... Why didn't you oh, yeah, you're them? supposed to double bake them, too. <laughs> yeah, they like they weren't baked, so they like the, the ink on the shirt was just smearing. Yep. And I was like, dude, fucking... Yeah, yep. that, that was you? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me, bro. That was, that was not me. I was screen dude, printing and putting them on there. This shop is so classic. They were dude, like, yeah, dude, we don't, is... we don't let our guys drink before 4 p.m. Oh, bro. Respect. Dude, that's some San Diego shit. Yeah, that's crazy, because you ordered like 3,000, bro. We had to like... Turn them like, and it, the the order was late too, or some shit. Like, so we had to fucking rush them out, bro. I remember staying up all <laughs> night printing your shirts, dude. Like, fuck. Hope I get to meet Steve-O, dude. Fucking didn't. You came and picked them up. I think I was gone when you picked them up. 
and I came back to the surf shop. And I was like, "Fuck, Steve O came and got the shirts on." Corey's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "I didn't get to meet fucking Steve." I was so devastated. Ah, oh, dude, not not to worry, man. Yeah, it's what, crazy what how fucking. Is I, I saw a clip of you on Instagram, like way before there was a Jackass Ford, mm-hmm. like before there was any idea about this, and. I just loved that clip, and so I reached out to you. And did I? I, I reached out and say, "Hey, is it cool yeah. if I put this clip yeah, on Instagram?" Yeah, you go, "Hey, is it cool if I repost it?" You know, I go, Shh. "I thought it was fake at first. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, boys, look, yeah. Steve-O wants to repost my shit." So, so we uh, started following each other like yeah. way back before. Yeah, it was, I was funny when I did that. I I was doing a dance off because it was like yeah. we were doing challenges, right? And it was uh-huh. like a dance off, and who, whoever lost had to shave their eyebrow. So I was like, "Fuck this! I'm not fucking losing. I already got one eyebrow off." So I was like, dude, it's the only eyebrow I've got. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not fucking losing this one, dude. Oh so we we're doing a dance off, and this guy does a backflip like on the ground. I was like, oh fuck. So I'm like, all right, doing my shit. I see a fucking toilet brush over there. I grab the toilet brush. I right. start brushing my teeth with the toilet brush, doing like some two step. And then fucking, I'm like, oh, there's the counter. I planned this one out too before. I'm like, I'm gonna do a front flip off the fucking counter. <laughs> so I get on the counter, like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right. I kind of count myself down, I'm like, three, two, one. I fucking flip. And I kind of did it perfectly where I didn't like knock my head so hard that I get knocked out. But I kind of put all the weight on my tailbone a little bit. Oh. It's kind oh, of the, the tailbone to the head. Dude, standing on a kitchen counter, does a front flip, lands flat on his back on the ground. Like, yeah. what, four feet below, three feet below? Like, yeah. fuck that. Jesus, was... that fucking looked so violent. And, and you know he was in the worst fucking pain ever. It was devastating. But commitment to the performance. For he sure. hops yeah. back up and just fights through it, doing his dance. There's a little yeah, moment yeah. where you're like, you're like, oh. Yeah, you know, there's like, a moment <laughs> where like, dude, am I paralyzed yeah. or not? I was like, oh, okay, I'm not. I'm like, I gotta finish this one off, guys. Like, yeah. there's, a, there's a distinct expression on your face which says, I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. But yeah, I was in New Zealand when that, and then I was like, fuck, you reposted it, dude, that day? Yeah. Bro, I got so many fucking followers. I was like, yeah, boys, look at this shit. Yeah. They're like, oh, Poopy's just blowing up. I was like, fuck yeah, boys. I was so stoked. Thank you. Yeah, well, hey, dude. I mean, dude, you're you're lovable, man. You're a lovable guy. Thanks, man. And, uh, and, and, and you know I'm rooting for you. You know I've been rooting for fuck you. Fuck yeah, dude. And I, I just want uh, I want you to get organized. I want you to, to stick with it with your content. I want you to run your videos by people for feedback to Yeah, that's to what I, I always them. forget to do that. Yeah, and like you've put up some videos on your Chanel that are uh, fucking whack. Yeah, like they were I feel like I feel like poopies if you would have you know a if, 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 if you would have sent me a draft of this video I could have given you some notes and we could have worked on it a little bit together. We could have made it a little better. You know, like mm-hmm. I, I get a lot of eyeballs on my videos before I put them out because I want to put them out like where it's like mm-hmm. they're good. So this is yeah. <laughs> so next video I'm sending it to you. Yeah. I will. Yeah. And uh, we just flew you out to be on my bucket list Bro, tour. dude. Poopy's hit me up. He says, uh, yo, my family's in Springfield, Missouri, or near there, and they want to come to your show. Is that cool? And I said, Poopy's, let's fly you out to be at that show with your family, and then let's bring you on the bus for a couple of cities. We can hang out. We can get some footage that will send you home from Indianapolis, which is where we are now. Yep, we're in Indianapolis We just had right a run. Now. You just did stand-up comedy for the first just time. Just did stand-up for the first time this week, and dude, I fucking like it, man. It's wait, so wait, wait, cool. Wait, 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 wait. We put a couple grand in your pocket. Yep, stoked. Thank you so much. Yeah, I were, you more, were you more nervous getting up on stage for the first time or smuggling hashish over the border? <laughs> uh, smuggling hashish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'd probably be more nervous getting stand-up. I was nervous just worried about up. getting up stage and just like... Like fucking up, you know, like saying it wrong or just like pausing, you know what I mean? Just yeah, you did stupid great. shit like that. But they loved you, dude. Yeah, dude. Thank you for that opportunity and experience. Yeah, dude. Cause like I never thought I'd ever be on tour with you, and I'd never ever thought I'd be on the Wild Ride show. Yeah, <laughs> dude. We love you, dude. dude. He gets so emotional, Sorry. man. I love dude, dude, we love, love you, it, man. Poopies. Dude, what a lovable <laughs> kid, man. But yeah, it's been it's crazy. Ah, oh, dude, man, poopies, I love you so much, you, bro. bro. But yeah, dude, I do stand up now and I fucking kill it. <laughs> yeah, you do. If you guys want to book me, you guys can book me for stand up. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, That's dude. Right. yeah nice. it's crazy. And, Wild ride. 
and uh, and said so, so your mom. You didn't tell your mom that you were no, you no. I out. surprised her. Yeah, and you I was got like, video oh, of surprising sick. your mom. So yeah, I got video of surprising my mom for your I, Chanel. Yeah, for my Chanel. So I videoed all that, and I I've been doing little takes here and there with my phone. So and Paul's been helping me out with some clips. Yeah, Good. we shot so, it last night him like uh, meeting fans and shit like that. Good. Yeah. yeah, so it's been good. So I'm gonna go home take take all the footage and send it to Jack. Did you get uh, footage from our gas station bit? Um, yeah, I did. You have that? Yes, I have that. Yeah, you got I mean, dude, and there's yeah. a bunch of stuff that we didn't use. I'm sure. Like, okay. My video was like what, like five, six minutes, maybe. Maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah I think um, Shane has it. Yeah, Shane would Z- have it. Zeke's uh, el- yeah. editor and filmer. Yeah, yeah we got I, we got a lot of footage that we need to go through and like. Yeah, I want you to get organized. Yeah, I want you to you know, just like uh, nobody felt that they had to pay you much to be in in Jackass. That like nobody's gonna do the work for you. Yeah, you know? definitely. Like, yeah. I'll help you every bit that I can. Fuck, I'll be stoked. But like I'm telling you, you gotta be focused. You gotta be organized. You gotta be motivated. Yeah, you, you gotta take advantage of the opportunity that you have right now. Yep. And I think me being sober helps out so much. Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah, so you should get sober. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking in fucking five days. Good. It's pretty you, good. You know you have a drinking problem when you know the exact amount of days. Oh, that that you have I definitely drinking. have alcoholism, bro. It's a disease, dude. It's not. Yeah. It's hard to get rid of. Right. All right. Well, but, dude, dude I want- I'm, uh, yeah, I will. And I want to be better. I want to work on my stuff. I want to come out with better content every every week and... I yeah. mean, dude, yeah. I mean, that's one thing you are motivated for is is filming for your Chanel. I love my Chanel. Yeah. It's like my. That's how YouTube or, or how Poopy spells channel. Yeah. yeah. For anyone who doesn't know yeah. what I was saying, Chanel. Yeah, it's funny. Poopy's I was the, making my own it's intro. It's the Poopy channel. Yeah, it's the Poopy channel. Right. And so we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up here Kay. with another um, heartfelt, desperate plea dude. to get a <laughs> lot of cameos or cameos and poopies. merch like I got my merch in my filmer's garage right now in Long Beach ready to be about, sent out how about if we take it a step further and say what you're willing to do for cameos maybe it's, maybe it'll help I mean you guys request whatever whatever you want and I'll do it <laughs> well, you take a shit in an intersection. Of course, <laughs> I need to re- I need to redo that act. Actually, redo, you know what? Like my dad. Act. I need to redo that stunt. I don't know if you want to do when, that. When 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 Jackass first came out, my dad said, "I got an idea for you. It's called the Executive Dump." He said he he wanted me to dress up like a, a businessman in a suit and tie with. Uh, a briefcase and go to like a bus stop where people are at the bus stop. He says, oh, and, fuck then, yeah. and then you uh, you open up your briefcase yep. and squat over it and take a shit in the briefcase. Yep. And you've got a roll of toilet paper in the briefcase and you could grab it and then wipe your butt with the toilet, put it all back in the briefcase and close it up and just like like nothing happened. And then nonchalant. And then, and then, like, get on the bus or whatever. That's the next poopy. Yeah, dude, you know what's idea. funny? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the executive dump. That's, that's hilarious. fucking epic. That's Your dad, let's do that on the side next week, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the bus stop, dude. They'd yeah. be psyched. Yeah. You know what's yeah, funny? You know what's funny is um, when I surf the wedge in Newport, there's no bathrooms at all. And I usually get there pretty early and I have to take a morning dump every morning. <laughs> so. I I started like going showing up to the wedge and like there's no bathroom so I I go fucking find like a little zone of shit and it would be in front of public you know it would usually be in the harbor side where the rocks are but dude I was like fuck this one time I had an empty shoebox and I looked at my empty shoebox I was like fuck yeah dude I'm gonna poop in the empty shoebox so I opened up my side door set the shoebox down opened it up took a shit in my shoebox I didn't have any toilet paper I didn't wipe but I closed up my shoebox and threw it in the trash can. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to do that every time I come to the wedge. So now every time I come to the wedge, I have an empty shoebox so I take a shit in. Wow. Good, dude. It's kind yeah, of like an executive your, shit, but it's like... You just put your wetsuit on to surf like all the, day. It's the homeless yeah. dump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, yeah, that's more the, the surf shit. bum dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, man. Uh, yeah. Everybody, please go get some Poopy's merch. Poopystore.com. Poopystore.com. fire up some Poopy's cameos. Fire those up. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm, and I'm, I'll tell you, I'm I'll waiting t- for I'll those t- things. I'll take it a step further. 
tag me in a Poopies cameo, and every single Poopies cameo video I see on Instagram, which I'm tagged in, I will double tap it, and I will leave a comment to critique no Poopies' way. performance. <laughs> wow. dude. Like dude. Poopies, and I'll even give maybe some feedback. Like, Shut up. Like Poopies, you know, leave a little more energy on this one. Or like, you okay. know. Dude. That's yeah. huge, dude. Thank I, you. And, Thank already, you. and the best idea that somebody gives you to do for a cameo, we'll send them out a case of hot sauce. Whoa. Oh, oh right. shit. Oh, it's now on, you guys. So they got to be creative with yeah, what they want so to do. you've got to do a good job. I'm good. And the people have to have fun creative to get you to... Have fun with them. Yeah, so we had a little contest going here. I nice. like it. The yeah, cameo dude. challenge. All right. Dude, and, yeah. And, and I'll be a, stoked. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'll be stuck. Dude, we got you, dude. You. Love you, poops, Love man. you, too, dude. This has been a dream come true, dude. You put me on, and, dude, I can't thank you enough. Well, fuck, fuck yeah, it. Poops. I'll tell you how you can thank me, dude. Fucking get clean Too and good. sober. Yep, <laughs> for sure. I know. Yeah. Okay. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bye. you guys. Have a great night. Hell yeah. Later, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was fucking bombshell shit, man. And like after we recorded that, what, two nights ago, I was like, it was weighing on me, man. I was just laying in bed. I was like, dude, our boy poops, you know, like just want to help him. You know, I want to help him. I was stoked to have him on tour. I've been stoked to put him on my main channel on my YouTube and just kind of pump him up, try and show him how it works and ask you guys to help him out. I really would appreciate that. Like everything we talked about. Yeah. Jump on there, man. Help, help a boy out. Poops is, is, is a great kid and it would mean a lot to me. So yeah, street team. I fucking love you. And Thank you for sticking around. Yeah, dude.